Well, environmental protection was one reason for a protest in Ottawa, but this wasn't your typical demo. Hundreds of Canadian scientists walked in what they called a death march. So what were they mourning? Hannah Thibodeau has the answer. It's a rare sight, a sea of white coats out of the laboratories, away from the petri dishes, and onto the streets. We're supposed to be in the lab doing science. I think this is a measure of how uh, distressed we are. They say they're distressed over government policies they say weaken or eliminate scientific institutions and research. No science, no evidence, no truth. The protesters say there is a lot of evidence of government cutting research, including scrapping the mandatory long-form census in 2010, eliminating funding to the National Roundtable on the Environment, and last month's budget bill, which they say abolished many environmental laws, cut jobs for government scientists, and weakened the Fisheries Act. We don't protect habitat anymore. We protect only the fish of commercial value or a value to First Nations. But the plan to stop the research in what's called the Experimental Lakes Area in northwestern Ontario next March finally pushed them to the brink. Just incredibly sad and I would say stupid that they're closing this. The world-renowned station produced the data on the causes of acid rain and ways to combat it. The government says it can no longer afford the cost, about $2 million a year. Those experiments have been incredibly valuable for directing policy in Canada. Now there are concerns policy will be made without scientific evidence. Without evidence and facts to support government policies, we're unable to say whether or not these policies actually are helping Canadians. The parliamentary secretary to the Minister of Environment defended her government's record. If the folks on the Hill today opened up Budget 2012, they'd see that we've increased um, expenditures in research and development in several key funding areas, including the Canada Foundation for Innovation which funds research infrastructure. When it comes to science and technology, the government cut funding in 2011-2012 by $400 million. What it will be for this fiscal year is still unknown. Hannah Thibodeau, CBC News, Ottawa.